Good morning everyone. I'm down here at the local community college. I got a break board behind me for a typical uh, truck. Uh, <clears throat> we have a problem with this board. The ABS control unit is not getting enough voltage. Okay, And in taking the voltage measurements right now, I'm going to highlight a common mistake that mechanics make uh, when taking voltage measurements. And that is to do open circuit voltage uh, checks. So I got the unit powered up. I got my meter ready to go. I have disconnected the connector that supplies power and ground to the control unit. And I'm going to go ahead and measure the voltage uh, going to the unit. Okay. So I'm on uh, supply wire number one and I read 13.9 volts, okay? We'll go ahead and put it on supply wire number two now, and I read 13.89 volts, okay? By all accounts, that's good, right? If I now uh, check my ground, and my ground checks out okay, then I could easily say that this control module is no good, or is defective, and I could replace it, but I would end up with the same problem. So now I'm gonna go ahead and power this unit off, reconnect this connector, and then we're gonna back probe uh, which is the way that you should be doing all these measurements. All right, so I reconnected my connector. I got this unit now powered up. I'm going to go ahead and back probe the connector and we'll see what the voltage value is then. Okay, I have it in connector number one. Once again, I have 13.89 volts. Okay. I have it now on connector number two and I'm only getting 9.4 volts, okay? So that means that this power wire or this supply wire is losing almost four and a half volts between here and the main fuse panel. Now, you saw that when I checked this open circuit, 13.8 volts, I close it, I mean I reconnect it, I back probe, only 9.5 volts. Well, why is that? Well, the reason for that is that when you disconnect and you do an open circuit voltage check, your meter becomes a serious load in that circuit. When you back probe, your meter is a parallel load in that circuit. So your meter at that point is going to read whatever is available to that branch, okay? So keep in mind, uh, avoid as much as possible to do open circuit voltage uh, check. So now let's look at the brake board in a somewhat of an animation format. What we were looking at earlier is the power circuit for the ABS controller and the one issue we had was that the uh, ABS controller had low supply voltage. Uh, one of the measurements we did was a uh, open circuit voltage measurement where we disconnected the controller we placed our meter in the supply wire and to ground and we got 13.89 volts okay an additional thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to check my ground wire by placing my meter in a different spot on the ground wire and you can see that we still get 13.89 volts so by all accounts the power supply wire is good and the ground wire is good. Now this measurement could be misleading because if both of these wires are good and I'm getting battery voltage to my ABS controller, the ABS controller could be deemed uh, defective when in reality it's not. The reason we're getting good battery voltage is because we're doing an open circuit reading. Anytime you measure voltage you should leave every go ahead reconnect our ABS controller we're going to back probe the supply wire and when we back probe we can see that we are reading 9.49 volts now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to place my meter right at the beginning of the circuit 
and there I get 13.89 volts. So what I know now is that between these two points I'm losing about four and a half volts. Now why is it that we get a different reading when we back probe than when we did the open circuit uh, voltage measurement? Well one of the things you have to remember is that to read voltage you place the meter in parallel to the circuit and when the meter is connected in parallel it's going to show you whatever voltage is available at the point that you connect it to. Keep in mind that what your meter is showing you is the difference in value or the difference in voltage be between the two meter leads. So while my meter here is saying that there's a difference in voltage between uh, the red lead and the black lead. So if I have a battery that's 13.89 volts but I'm only getting 9 uh, and a half volts here, I know that I have a problem somewhere in between on this wire. Okay. Now let's go back to our original reading. When we disconnected the controller, we got 13.89 volts. Why is that? Why is there a difference in reading between open circuit voltage and back probing the component? Well, when the meter is connected to an open circuit, the meter effectively becomes the, a load or the load in that circuit. So what you're doing is you're creating a series circuit. Now, when we found out uh, the problem was with the circuit was that we had a 700 ohm resistance in that power wire, which was leading to a uh, four and a half volt drop. Now let's use Ohm's law to explain this. So Ohm's law says that in a series circuit, the total resistance of the circuit is the sum of all. So we have 700 ohms here. The meter has 10 million ohms of resistance, so our total resistance is 10 million 700 ohms. With those two values, what is the current flow going to be through this circuit that I've created with my meter? Well, if we divide 13.89 volts by 10 million 700 ohms, we get about 14 microamps flowing through the circuit. Okay, so how many volts is this bad connection uh, going to lose or going to use up? Well, the voltage drop through that bad connection is going to be 14 microamps times 700 ohms. Uh, 0.0098 volts, so less than one millivolt. What is the voltage drop going to be through the meter? Well, if we once again take the 14 microamps and multiply it by 10 million ohms, it says 14 volts. My meter is going to lose 14 volts. So our 13.8 volt reading here is not too far off from our, from our Ohm's law calculation. So what you have to remember here is that anytime you place the meter as a load in the circuit, your readings are going to be uh, good only if there's no resistance here. But if there's any amount of resistance through a bad connection, your meter may not show it. Okay, This resistor here would have to be very high for your meter to start showing uh, uh, some voltage drop. So now let's do the calculation here with a higher resistance on this resistor here. So let's bump it up to 5 million ohms. Okay. Now my meter does show uh, a lower voltage value. So using Ohm's law, now our total resistance is 5 million ohms plus 10 million of the meter, 15 million ohms total. What's the current flow going to be through here? Well, the current flow is going to be our voltage, 13.9 divided by 15 million about nine uh, microamps. What is the voltage drop of this bad connection now going to be? Well, nine microamps times five million ohms, about 4.6 volts. What's the voltage drop of the meter going to be now? Well, once again, nine, mil, uh, nine microamps times 10 million ohms, it says 9.2 volts. So if the resistance is high in any one of the circuit wires then your meter will show it but if it's low if this was one million half a million a hundred thousand 
your meter is not going to show enough of a drop for you to uh, think there's a problem in that circuit. So the purpose of this video is to highlight that open circuit voltage measurements are not a good idea. Uh, they may not always bite you in the ass, but when they do, uh, it's going to hurt because you may replace components unnecessarily based on a bad voltage measurement.